the past 15 years, we've been filming climbers on big adventures all around the world. Every fall, we share these stories with hundreds of thousands of people on the Real Rock Film Tour. Just for this year's films alone, we had shoots in Japan. Well, I'm here shooting with Yuji Hirayama. A total legend in the climbing world. Borneo. Mount Kinabalu. This is the highest mountain in Malaysia. Morocco. An extremely remote area in the Atlas Mountains. Swiss Alps. You climb up the mountain, you just take out your paraglider and fly to another mountain. The Utah desert. Mostly what's going on around here is sort of dangerous things. English sea cliffs. The coastline is rugged with crashing waves. It's quite wild, really. And all the way up on Mount Everest. One of the most cutting edge things that could be filmed and photographed ever in the Himalayas. Woo! When we're out there completely off the grid, one of the real challenges is staying powered up. Nowadays, it's great. We can charge all our gear from the sun and stay out there longer. On these full-scale productions, we don't travel light. We have a lot of electronics with us. We have three cameras. Laptop, computer, headlamp, hard drive, walkie-talkies, iPhones. These cameras are amazing, but we do a lot of changing of batteries in the field. We're filming with some of the most badass athletes in the world. I need to make sure I'm always ready. Obviously we have to keep our cameras running so we can shoot, but we also have to download footage to our laptop every night. We have to back up to hard drives, and we have to be able to review dailies while we're in the field so we know what we're actually getting. Hey Yuli, coming up, look at this. And they fly down to Kathmandu while we're waiting for them. A lot of what we do is pretty specialized, but these days you really need power anytime you're out there, even if it's just for staying in touch. I want to visit, I want to visit, Dad. Bye. <laughs>